Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is the demonstration of my program G4 Hello World. So what G4 Hello World is, is it's the most simple GANT4 application. So if you're not familiar with what GANT4 is, GANT4 is a high level C++ toolkit um, for modeling physics processes with particles. So it's super cool. You can make a bunch of different complex applications with GANT4, but it can be pretty hard to get started in developing your first GANT4 application. Even for professionals that use GANT4 all the time, sometimes when starting a brand new application, it can be tedious to configure everything and set up your, your workspace. So that's why I created G4 Hello World. To use G4 Hello World, first you have to have GANT4 installed on your computer. So if you don't have that yet, check out my video on installing GANT4. But assuming you have GANT4 already installed, you can go to either my website or my G4 Hello World repository on GitHub and simply click on the release. And here you can download the source code. Now that we have G4 Hello World unzipped, we can go ahead and click on it. And here we have our CMake list file. So to compile G4 Hello World, I prefer to use the CMake uh, GUI, but you can do it in a couple of different ways. So what I prefer to do is simply click on this CMake list file, drag it into the CMake GUI right here, and then specify your build directory. So I'm gonna go ahead and write build here. Configure, create a build directory, yes. And then finish, perfect. Now we're gonna generate and open project. Now that Visual Studio has popped up, we can right click on this solution, click build. And in a few seconds, it'll finish building. Perfect, it says build succeeded down here. So we can exit out of these windows and go back to your directory. Now I can click on this build folder, click on release. And here's our executable hello world file. So let's just click on it to see how it looks. So as you can see, um, it popped up the Jan4 GUI. So this is all ready for you to put in your own code and generate your Jan4 application. So G4 Hello World also works in batch mode. So if you right click here in, in this folder and open in terminal, you can run it from the command line by running this code. So you do hello world. And then for the second argument, just write test.mac. And as you can see, it runs a Mac file that prints out hello world in the terminal. So once you're creating your own G4 application, you can um, run things from the command line and they'll run a lot faster than having the GUI pop up with visualization and stuff. Awesome guys. So now that we've tested that G4 hello world runs, we can start modifying the code to create your own application. So to do this, we'll open up Visual Studio. We can open a local folder and navigate to your G4 Hello World directory. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how you can customize this project for yourself. So first step is you can find this hello world.cc file and change the name of it. So you can click on that and just change it to my project. Awesome guys, now what you're gonna to have to do is go into the cmakelists.txt file and in this file, you can very simply do a find. So for me on Windows, it's Control F. Uh, find all instances of hello world, hello underscore world, and then replace it with your project name. For So for me, it's my project, like this. Now you just click Enter until you've replaced every single hello world with my project. So you can kind of see this happen in real time. Just changing everything to my project. Perfect. So now that that's done, everything's configured for your project's name. Awesome, guys. So everything's set up in the CMake list file now. Um, you can put all your classes in the SRC and include directories, and they automatically get linked into the project. All right, guys, now that we've changed the name from Hello World to my project, uh, make sure you save your changes, and then you can go into this directory where you have G4 Hello World.
Um, as you can see, hello world got changed to my project. So that's a good sign. And then we're going to open CMake again and recompile. As you can see, everything says my project now. So whatever project name you want to put in there works great. Another feature that I personally like about G4 Hello World is I have created a Mac files directory. Any Mac files that you place in this directory upon compilation will automatically be put into the same directory where the executable file is found. That way, when you run your executable file and you try to run Mac files, it's not going to throw errors that it can't find the file because they're all in the same directory. G4 Hello World also comes pre-packaged with the GM4 license. So you don't have to worry about finding the GM4 license and including it in your project. Um, if you're making an open source project, it's already included. Also, G4 Hello World comes with a custom git ignore file with a couple of folders that get generated. That way, if you're using GitHub or other version control, you're not gonna have a bunch of files clogging up your repository. All right, guys, thanks for watching this demo of G4 Hello World. Uh, hopefully this helps you guys start the ground running when you're developing Giant 4 applications and not getting stuck up on all the configuring and setting up settings and stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Uh, see you later.